this is Sule from Pomona, California, Zone 10A. Today is January 22nd, 2019. And look at the blessings that I received. And I want to apologize because I received these a couple of weeks ago, but I have been super duper sick. And that's why I wasn't able to upload anything until today. So look at all the stuff I received from UT33200. And he has an amazing channel. Um, go ahead and check him out. If you like what you see, subscribe. Um, he definitely um, has great content. He has a beautiful wife and a wonderful, wonderful kiddo. Let's go ahead and show him some support. And look at just all the seeds I will be planting in my garden for sure. Um, some of them, I'm not sure what um, what they our growing habits are like but i'll definitely go ahead and research it um but i'm so excited so stoked to get these planted in my garden so once again go ahead check them out ut33200 um subscribe you won't regret it and then guess what i received another package and Look at all these wonderful, wonderful seeds that I received from Deborah Christmas. Um, if you haven't checked out Deborah Christmas, go ahead and check out her channel. She has a wonderful channel. She has a little mini uh, indoor forest. I love to see her plants and she recently transplanted her orchids. Um, she has a lot of knowledge as well. Um, so go ahead and check her out, subscribe to her channel, and let's show her some support and some love as well. And these I definitely will be getting in my garden. Hopefully sooner than later, now that I am feeling a little bit better, I can hopefully start planting my seeds for this growing year. So once again, go ahead, check out Deborah Christmas. She has an amazing channel. Please subscribe and show her some love. And guess what guys? These wonderful people also tagged me in the 2018 roundup. So let's get to it. Um, so question number one is, what was your best crop? So for me, I have to say it had to be cilantro. I grew cilantro from probably the beginning of December all the way till April. I had tons of it. I love cilantro on everything and anything that I can put it on. So absolutely my favorite and best crop of 2018. Question number two, what was your worst crop? So, <laughs> this is so funny because my favorite crop ever was my worst crop in 2018. So, my favorite thing to grow is watercress. And unfortunately, I did plant the seeds, but for some reason, not one single seedling came up. Not even one. So, that was my worst crop of 2018. Number three, what would you do differently? I think I would do differently my soil. I think that I'm so concerned about the seeds and what I want to grow and maybe some of the nutrients that they need, but I'm not very focused on my soil. And the soil is very, very important for anybody that's just starting. I didn't know that when I just started, but it seems that I kind of did a quick fix and never really did more research and made any more amendments to my soil. So that's what I would do differently. I would definitely put more emphasis and more attention to my soil. Uh, question number four, what was your biggest challenge? Um, so a lot of you guys know that I am trying to sell my house and that has been a big challenge for me in the gardening area because I keep thinking, well, if I'm going to sell it, there's no point of me 
planting my seeds if I'm going to just leave them behind. Um, so that has been the challenge. Now, it doesn't mean that I have stopped planting. It just means that now I'm using my containers. Um, my sale of the house isn't going so well, so I may be staying here, which I don't mind. We just wanted to buy a bigger lot, but if we end up staying, now I have to now start my seeds on my raised beds. So for now, because I'm still in that limbo, am I going to sell? Am I not going to sell? Am I going to stay here? I have to resort to using my containers. Um, so that has been a huge challenge for me. You know, should I put the seed in or should I not? Should I wait? Being in that limbo state, it has prevented me from enjoying my gardening at least at the end of 2018. And question number five what are your plans for 2019 in the garden and for me i really don't have any plans because again it's are we gonna sell are we not gonna sell um you know being in that limbo state again it it doesn't allow me to plan for the future because i don't know what the future holds at this moment um question number six who inspired you in 2018 and I think this is an excellent question uh, for me I have to say that for me people that inspire me are people that come to my channel um, people that comment and want to interact with me um, if you follow my channel you know that I did not create my YouTube channel for um, views or for um, you know to gain subscribers subscribers are awesome and views are awesome but my main uh, concern and and where I get my thrills from is that interaction with a lot a lot of people um, you know I would have to sit here and name 10,000 just so many to name but just just having that interaction with people and and just making those friendships thank you so much for your support for your love um and well guys that's it from little beans garden thank you very very much for watching hope you have a great day and as always take care